back to more regular uploads um had a three-day break because nothing was going on and uh yesterday you saw the west ham fans premier league round up as usual every monday some video some days i'll do double uploads uh that might happen if we actually do business but today i'm going to run about why we're not doing business now it is thought and it's quite obvious that we're not going to do business until rice is sold and we confirmed uh, Tim Street and whoever his name is, the technical director, uh, which was meant to be confirmed by Fabrizio. But there's meant to be like this last minute candidate thing. Uh, I don't give a shit at this point. Um, the annoying thing is the fact that we're rely relying on the fact that uh, it, we have to move after the Declan Rice sale. The problem with this is that we've been in pole position to sign Harvey Barnes, we've we're probably one of the main we're probably the clubs with the main interest in Jao Parhinha. Uh We're probably one of the main clubs interested in James Ward Prowse. We're probably one of the main clubs interested in Alex Scott. We're probably one of the main clubs interested in other players. But the problem with this is these players could go to another another club if we don't fucking fix up. And I do not care if people are going to tell me. And a window has been open for two weeks because Liverpool signed Alex, Alexis McAllister before then. People got their transfer business done as soon as the season was over. So I'm not trying to hear this. Well, are we now? If you're looking at the PR and believe in the PR of, we're going to do business after the brass sale, after the technical director has come in. I've got a, a lot of problems with this. So we don't make other money anywhere else then. So you're telling me that we can't spend money before the rest sell. So you're telling me what would happen? Nothing's going to happen if we if we try and bid for a player whilst trying to sell rice. Because if you're confident that rice is going to get sold, you should be moving in in advance anyway. If we're trying to get a technical director which I'm assuming is going to play the role of a director of football role. All of these roles higher up are stupid anyway. Because there's so many of them. And a lot of them are similar. Then what's the point of us assigning Premier League proven players and having scouts in the first place if we're just going to sign players from English leagues? We don't need scouting now, do we? David Moyes goes to watch championship games. They're Premier League proven players. Like some of these players that we're in for. The Harvey Barneses, the James Ward Prowses. What's the point? Like, come on. Like, who believes this? Who actually believes this, guys? Who believes this? Like, and there's no excuses for this. We had a problem last year with our signings not having a pre-season. We're not going to have a signing in pre-season. Unless we move quick. Because, in my opinion, I was happy with the way we were moving last, last year with the transfers. Now, yeah, Paqueta, Corne, Kera, and Skabaka aside just after pre-season. Fair enough. Again, got injured. He could have had a pre-season. Uh, and we did suffer with our players not having a pre-season. And Emerson was signed when we were playing, when we were playing games as well. Now, I get it. A lot of it was late. But I was happy with the way we move in. But if we're also going with another reason of these players aren't going to get a pre-season, then we've got the same problem again. We've got the same problem again. We're not, we haven't signed anyone. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it was like a week ago it was a year anniversary of the signing of Aguirre. So this time last year we signed someone. We're going to fall behind again. By the way, if you're going to annoy us, that's my neighbours. We're going to have that problem again. With our players not having a pre-season. So it's not as easy to bed in. But it is what it is. That's my opinion on the transfer saga, the transfer news, the fucking transfer, everything. Because we need players. There's a lot of players we sign hold on.
Sometimes people just choose to make noise but not sh shutting the fuck up sometimes. But we need quite a few players. And we were promised, well not promised, but it's said to be six players in this transfer window. And I know a lot of clubs have only made one signing and no signings, but I don't care about other clubs. We need to be signing players. We need to be moving ahead of other clubs. Get your business done early. Early. Be ahead of these teams. We need to be back up there for Europe. We need to prepare for Declan Rice's departure. We need to integrate more players into a team that hasn't really been fully together for that long. There's been a core of the players that were here for a couple of years ago. But there's a lot of new players now and we're going to be buying more new players. So this will be a problem. This is not going to be a perfect season. So please, can we get a fucking move on? Get a move on. Hurry up. Talk to these clubs about the rise still. Hurry up and, like, do something, please. You're telling me if we spend the, 25, the rumour 25 million on Alex Scott... It's going to fuck up our season in terms of FFP. People are going to sell rice anyway. We need players in positions like centre-back. Actually, you're not going to sell a centre-back, you sell a right-back because we have Sufa and Kera there, which I don't necessarily agree with Sufa, but I don't know Kera has his flaws, but give him another season, etc. I would have sought, I would have let Cresswell go, leave on a high goodbye. But people like the sentiment, whatever. The players that need to be let go, left winger, etc. Is the, like Harvey Barnes, we could be getting Harvey Barnes, whatever. We need a right winger to compete with Bowen and we need to tie Bowen down to our contract. And we need two midfielders at least uh, for not to let, for not necessarily replacing these players, but with Lanzini and Rice going, you need two midfielders. And don't let Flynn Downs go. He's only had one season. That's my opinion. Transfer video run. Make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Social media is in the description if you want to follow me on the email for the inquiries. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.